Hello, my beautiful Libras. Happy New Year. Happy 2021. I started your reading just a moment ago and the phone rang. So I'm back. You had a beautiful beginning to your reading. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Libra, but you have a beautiful start to the reading. So I really wanted to come back in and show you that your overall energy is Angel of Balance, Healer of the Ages, and door to personal healing and happiness. Libra, you have wonderful astrological um, placements at this time. As you know, I'm sure many of you know that Saturn has moved into your sister sign of Aquarius and is going to give you a lot of support in the next two and a half years, as well as Jupiter for a year. Your opening card, here you are. You're talking to me already balance look at this justice card that is your card libra that is your energy in your reading beautiful all right so you have a lot to say you're thinking a lot you're really i love the healing energy for you it's just beautiful you've been through a lot i think in the last few years okay so let's see what else oh look at this libra some of you look like you're contemplating a marriage or um, buying a house. I like it. Okay, buying, renting, but this is very much a relationship card. It is a card of the honeymoon. It is a heart of, card of buying a home together. It's gorgeous energy. So some of you may have just recently gotten married. Some of you may be newly engaged um, or you're about to meet someone or you're in a relationship that will you know, become a long-term commitment. Beautiful. Look at Capricorn energy. I am loving this message for you. That's a Capricorn queen. We call that, it's the nickname of that card is a mommy card. It indicates to me that you are in a very solid place. She has her eyes closed. This is somebody who is very nurturing, very kind, very sweet, but really all about creating balance, stability, legacy, certainly very serious about what she wants in life. The chariot card, you are on a journey. Someone is coming in hot or you, you're moving in. This is sort of like the, honey, I'm home. Or, hey, I think I have something to say to you, Libra. I think I have something to tell you. And I'm going to speak from the heart and I'm in a big hurry to say it. So that's great energy. A new, oh wow, Aquarius energy. Taking a leap of faith into the future. Libra, you are very guarded, but I feel as though for most of you that are watching this, if you haven't already met somebody and you aren't currently in a relationship, you are on the precipice. You have one, two major arcanas. You have two Cancer, you have one Cancerian placement, but that Four of Wands is all about having what you want in a relationship. Beautiful. Okay. So what else do we have for Libra? Five of Wands. So it does look as though right now you're in a situation where there are competing, people are competing for your attention. You may also have, ooh, for those of you who might be divorced, it looks like you're probably having some sort of dispute. Some of you might be in some sort of custody or battle with a, a former a former beloved husband, whatever. But it does look like you are still dealing with somebody from the past to whom you were married. Uh, many of you are remarried, but let's see what else we have here for you. Eight of coins. Your coin is going really well. That is Virgo energy. You're in a very grounded place for yourself. Other than this person, and that is Leo energy, um, that is from the past. They're trying to come in and get your attention. Uh, it's very egocentric energy. But you've released them. Look at that. That's Scorpio energy. You have released. Look at that. That's Scorpio energy. You have totally released someone from your past. The Fool card indicates that you're on the verge of taking a leap of faith into the future, Libra. Gorgeous energy. Okay, let's see. Look at this. Oh, so what I'm seeing here, Libra, is it looks as though you have a love interest. You are ready to take 
throw caution to the winds for a passionate new beginning. Many of you are early in a new relationship that looks as though it's going the way you want it to. This person looks as though they're on the same page with you. The Eight of Wands energy is passionate. It's making love all night long. It's texting all day long. It's gorgeous energy. And Libra, here you are again. You are in your reading again. You are very, very focused on what you want. You are in a beautiful energy. This Libra queen will cut anybody or any person or any job or any situation out of her life if it doesn't serve her. The five of coins. So here we see the death. We have three cards here with the release card that shows that somebody may that you were married to may have left you in tough financial straits. There may be arguments over money with somebody. You may be in a protracted, you know, form of litigation of some sort, but it does look like you're very powerful. And with, a, with you appearing in your own reading, you all's well that ends well, because I'm getting that the seven of pentacles, you are entering a period of time in your life when people are investing in you you're investing in them you want only relationships that show value the five of swords again when we get the justice card and the judgment card that is almost the paperwork of filing for divorce and then the release of the that's the judgment or dissolution of marriage as it's called in the u.s the five of swords the five of wands and the five of pentacles tells me again it looks like there's possibly a very bitter dispute going on for some of you <coughs> Excuse me. Let's see what else. We are going to clarify everything to get the details of the reading. Nine of coins, that's you being very single, taking care of yourself. You look great. You smell good. Your home is looking beautiful. You are enjoying your life. You are living the good life. You've done it through a lot of hard work and healing. And you are all about making a decision that is very well thought out. The King of Swords says it's Aquarius energy that your freedom, your freedom from tyranny, whether it be a job, whether it be a person, whether it be a spouse or someone with whom you've had a child, you are in this King of Swords energy. Again, the Queen and King of Swords, you're embodying both these energies right now to have great clarity because this is a card of genius. This is a card when I get the King of Swords of people who have high levels of intellect capacity. Oftentimes it represents people who do something very successfully in their life that requires being very loving. All these birds are coming around this handsome, handsome king of swords. So this person is a very this is part of you. You also could be dating a king of swords, which is Aquarius. But the energy overall, the message that's coming through here, Libra, is that you have all the tools that you need to make a very smart decision. That is your outcome on the reading, that all of your decisions that you've made in the recent past have been with great precision. You have not allowed your emotions to drive the chariot. You have um, really maintained your equilibrium. So it's beautiful energy. You're in a very beautiful place. It's a gorgeous reading. So let's dig in and see what some of the energy is in terms of the story that I see in front of me. I think for many of you, you may have actually left a marriage because there was someone that you fell in love with. For others, it may have been vice versa, but for many of you, I feel as though you're very happy, you are single, but you are in a stable, happy relationship. Sometimes when we marry a second time or we're in a long-term relationship, we will have a jealous ex-spouse who tries to get custody, who tries to control your new relationship. And I see that as being a storyline for some of you. So why do we have justice? Why do you have to be so balanced? You're holding, you're holding on to your money too. Look at the four corners, how powerful. You know, you're not letting anybody get to you. You're not letting anyone take advantage of you. The world card, you've closed something out. It may have been with a king of pentacles because we have the queen of pentacles. Now, this can, this can work both ways. The king of pentacles can be a present husband 
or relationship because we have the Queen of Pentacles next to it. It does look like you've already closed out a cycle, but it does look like maybe that was with a Leo or a Scorpio. At the end of the day, the signs don't matter. It's more the energy. So you're now in a situation, Libra, where you have a beautiful relationship with someone with whom you can have stability. The Taurus King with the Capricorn Queen. Very stable. Look at this. A legacy marriage. Beautiful. The Seven of Swords says that you've had to deal with some things alone. The Two of Swords that I feel as though you do not burden this person with whom you're having the relationship now. I do feel like for some of you, you might keep some of the conflict that you're having with an ex. I think that you're, you're trying to hide it. I'm not sure it's the best idea, but I do think that you're trying to not pull this person in, this beautiful King of Pentacles. I feel as though you're, you're, you're trying to leave them out of the equation of what you deem a private and personal problem that they should not have to really deal with. So, okay, so tell us more about the Seven of Swords. Why is it here? The Four of Cups. To some extent, you really don't want to have to deal with it. I feel as though, again, there's some jealousy on the part of an ex-spouse. Something that you don't want to tell your partner because you're afraid they would feel jealous. Your ex-partner looks as though they want you back. It looks like they're... Tr I actually think that the Seven of Swords means that somebody from your past... Somebody with whom you've left, you left this person a long time ago because the Seven of Swords energy is like, I got the hell out of there, so to speak. And this person looks like they're trying to message you. You're not happy about it. You're trying to ignore it. I think you've blocked somebody. But for those with whom this resonates, it looks like you're trying to, to not set off the alarms with a relationship that is very stable by keeping this under wraps, okay? Also, hold, you know, playing your cards close to your chest, being very careful about what you say and do. You don't want to spoil this new opportunity. Well, you know, discretion is discretion. You're allowed to have it. Okay, the Empress card, beautiful. Okay, so I love the fact that I do think the Empress is looking over here at the King of Pentacles as well as the Queen of Pentacles. You are embodying both of these energies. So it shows that you're doing well in your career, your, your new spouse, significant other, however that's playing out, is someone who's coming to the table with a lot to offer. You're both, you both desire a legacy relationship. In the past, you know, you do have the feeling that you have to just hold on. If you look at these cards, look at the energy. She has her eyes closed. She has her eyes closed just trying to keep the, the, the um, Three of Cups from spilling out. And that, you don't want this person to spill into your relationship. You're being very discreet. You're keeping this to yourself. You know, you're trying to manage this on your own, but it's not easy. <clears throat> Why is the Five of Wands here for our beautiful Libras? Why is this Leo energy here? Some player energy. So somebody that you had a relationship with in the past. Now, for some of you, it may be simply that you have someone really grounded in your life that you are newly dating and an ex keeps returning. But this looks very, this player energy is this is Sagittarius energy, this is Leo energy, but it does look, you know, with this Eight of Wands, it does look like you are not so excited about this person possibly hurting you in a current relationship. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why is the Death card here, the Moon card? You know intuitively it, that if your person discovered how this person who's trying to be romantic with player energy, different people are coming in and out. You know that it would really <clears throat> have the power to damage this relationship. You know it instinctively and you are protecting it. The Page of Swords, yeah. It looks as though you're going to block some people on social media. It looks as though somebody has access to a way of reaching out to you and you don't want them to have it. You are divinely protected. This is beautiful. This is a lover's card. You are protected with a current soulmate. 
you're you have this guardian angel watching over you so that this person does not successfully make too much of a difficult problem for you. Beautiful, Ten of Wands. You're able to stop whatever this person is doing. I'm getting somebody, you feel it almost like you're being uh, stalked, harassed. You know, this person is very, they like to fight with you. You know, sometimes people just like to fight and this person doesn't look like they're willing to give up to you with you or they are not willing to give up on you or the relationship even though they've been a schmuck. This looks like a very, you know, this is not a great combination when I get this egocentric energy with somebody that left you in the cold, that you released already, that you've, you've ended the relationship with them, but they're trying to really get back in. No, good for you. You are really happy. You're very much in love. You have a partner right now, Libra, in this in this King of Pentacles energy. You gr share great passion, great enthusiasm, great fun. You have great conversations. You're happy. You're active. You walk together. You do physical activity get together. Your love making is top notch. The Ace of Wands is that brilliance of this new beginning, and it really is developing quickly. I think for many of you, you may have been with this person for a long time but you really love this person cancerian queen here with all your heart you are not going to let this person interfere you are really being very careful <clears throat> why is your energy here why is the queen of swords energy here for libra why is the queen of swords here libra the three of cups you want to marry your best friend you want to be with your best friend. You want someone who celebrates your life, someone who is easy and fun to talk to and to get along with. Why did you have this five of coins in this energy? Why? This looks like something you're working on healing right now too. Okay, the nine of coins. Oh, somebody took advantage of you. It looks as though if you were married, because we get the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles, I'm getting that many of you may have really been taken advantage of in a relationship, a marriage, and or a divorce settlement. It does look like it's rather bitter if it took place. But I think, I think you're finished with it, but I think you've been out of it and still have, you know, it's been, it's not that long ago. Yep. Somebody who saw that you were doing really well, tried to come back, take you back to court in some instances, or a bitter legal or custody battle to do with a marriage. Somebody is trying to control you. This is this Five of Swords energy. That's devil energy. It's toxic. You may be dealing again with a player energy, somebody who gave their cup of love to a lot of different people, somebody who wanted to control you. Three swords through the heart. There you go. There's the answer. There's the answer. So it does look like the person that you divorced are planning to, how, the timing of all of this will vary for everybody individually. But this person broke your heart. They were very toxic. And now after abusing you within the framework of a relationship and, you know, and by creating all this drama and pain around you, your broken heart, you know, this is a person who had a lot of drama. Look at blood. There's a little blood in the background. And they're basically saying like, Libra, I don't really see what the problem is. You know, people have affairs. You should just, you know, you should be willing to forgive me. You know, I like you. Just because I have affairs doesn't mean a thing. Ha ha, not so funny, right? This person's obnoxious. Whoever this is you're dealing with is obnoxious. They took care, they took advantage of your good, their, your very good spirit, your beautiful energy, your beautiful Libra, Libra energy. Right now you are super happy. Look at this, this is your outcome. After having this tower moment with this person, you're going to win a battle. I'm seeing you having happily ever after with your new person. The tower comes down and whatever this is, is judgment and tower releases you completely from this person you have your money intact the Sun card you have joy you have happiness you are enjoying your life you are very much on top of this Libra happily ever after the happiest card in the deck your money is good your life is good 
and I will end that uh, right here for you, Libra. You have been through an epic battle and you are healing and going forward with your life with great, great courage and stamina and success. Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. It's been a joy, Libra. Thank you so much for joining me today.